News in the murder of an 18 year old who died while trying to protect his mother. Just minutes ago, a strong message from the community to Javier Flores' killers that plea turn yourselves in. Sion Rhodes live now with these breaking developments, including an increase in the reward that's being offered. Sion. And as you can imagine, Andy, the pain of Javier's murder still fresh in the family's mind. There are still balloons and flowers here outside the Subway restaurant where he lost his life. And the family's heartbreak only deepened by the fact that his killer is still on the loose. Today, Quan LX joined by the family offering $2,000 cash to anyone who came directly to him with information leading to the shooter and his accomplice. 18-year-old Javier Flores was a Chavez High School student shot and killed on February 22nd, protecting his mom from the armed robbers inside that subway where they were both working that night. Today, Glenn LX making a personal appeal to the suspect who he says did not pull the trigger. Come forward and tell us who you are and tell us the truth of what happened. Do it now because if they catch you and you don't tell the truth before they catch you, you're charged with the same crime and you're going to face possibly life without parole or even the death penalty. Whoever did this, just turn yourself in because you're not even supposed to be hurting people, especially my son that just was just working. And it's not fair which I did, took my son's life. Just turning 18 years old, he has his whole life ahead of him. And yeah, I just came in and took it away from us. And HPD did release a composite sketch of one of those men. They believe they got away in a tan or gold-colored four-door sedan, possibly a Mazda protege from the early 2000s. The Crime Stoppers reward in this case is $40,000. If you know anything about that, you're asked to call them at 713-222-TIPS. HPD investigators were also on scene today. We'll hear from them coming up tonight at 6. We're now reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC Channel 2 News.